In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a progress bar using vanilla JavaScript. So here's the demo of the project. So as you can see here, I have a progress bar and two inputs, value and max value. So if I input something in the max value, let's say 800, and I put something in the value, uh, let's say I'm gonna add 80, and you can see this progress bar comes up with a nice gradient color and takes up 80% of the entire max value that this progress bar had been set to. So what is special about this is you can dynamically change the value and based on the max value, this progress bar will keep changing. For example, I'm gonna change the eight to 40 and you can see it will go down to 40%. I'm gonna take it to 90, it's gonna go to 90%. And now the best part is this max value doesn't always have to be 100. Whatever this max value will be, this value will be a percentage of that max value. For example, consider right now the value is 90 and it's taking up almost all the space because the max value is 100. But if I set this max value to 200, then, the, then this progress bar won't be taking up as much space as it's taking now. For example, if I make this 200, then you can see this takes up only 45%. And that's obvious, right? Because this value is a percentage of the total max value that we input. So if I set this to somewhere around 100, then this will, this will take up 50% because now the max value is 200. And if I set it to 200, then it will take up 100%. But you will see that in the progress bar, the value is always between 0 to 100%. That's because whatever we add in the value or max value, it's going to calculate the percentage between them, which is always going to be between zero to hundred percent. So for example, in this case, 200 is hundred percent of 200, which is the max value. So suppose if I make this 50, then it's going to show 25% because 50 is 25% of 200 so that's what i mean by saying this progress bar value is always going to be between 0 to 100 percent because it always calculates the percentage between the value and the max value so yeah this is what we're going to build let's get on ahead with it all right so here i have the basic setup of the project as you can see here i have the index html file here script and styles.css and i have linked both those files script and styles uh, over here in the script and link tag so first of all, I'm going to go ahead and create the HTML and that's pretty simple. All we got to do is I'm going to go down over here in the body and I'm going to make a div and I'm going to give this div a class of progress. And now within this div, I'm going to be creating another div and this div will have a class of progress. Let's say something like progress done. I'm going to save this and then underneath this div, I'm going to create the input divs. So this, this is going to have nothing but a class of input container. And then underneath that, I'm going to add another div and this div, um, under this div, I'm going to give it an H3 and this is going to say value. And then right under the value, I'm going to add an input and this input is going to have a class of input and a type of number so only numbers can be inputted in this input and we are also going to do the same for the other input so i'm just going to copy this i'm going to place it right here and i'm going to give this the name of max value and i'm going to give the input a name of max input all right so this is all we need for the html let's just check what we've got here all right you can see the value and max value now let's go ahead and create the progress bar so now let's go ahead and add the css uh, so for that i'm all i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the styles.css and here you can see there's this default style added to the body it's doing nothing but centering everything uh in the window so first of all i'm going to access the progress class and over here in the progress class i'm going to give it a background color of nothing but let's say gray and then i'm going to give the border radius of 20 px and then after that i'm going to set the height to somewhere around 30 px and the width is going to be somewhere around 300 px all right so after this all i'm going to do is i'm going to go here i'm going to say select the progress done and in the progress done i'm going to select display flex and i'm going to select the align items to center and then i'm going to take the justify content and i'm going to make it center and then after that we also need to target the background image so for the background the background image as in we are going to set the linear gradient so for this all i'm going to do is i'm going to select repeat linear gradient and i'm going to i'm going to add two left and then i'm going to, going to add three different shades of blue which is going to be having uh, different color codes so i added the three different shades of blue over here in the background image which is nothing but a repeating linear gradient so this is going to be nothing but this gradient that you see here it has three different shades of blue 
right so after that all i'm gonna go ahead and do is um, i'm going to go and select box shadow and i'm going to give zero 5px 5px 6px then i'm going to select a shade of blue and i'm just going to select this shade over here and after that I'm say zero 3px 7px and i'm going to select this shade over here. right after adding the box shadow i'm simply gonna go ahead and add the border radius and i'm going to give it a border radius of around 20px after that we'll select the color color will be nothing but fff and then after that i'm going to select the height height will be 100 percent all right width width is going to be zero in the beginning because in the beginning we want the progress bar to be at a width of zero and then gradually increase um after this i'm just going to add a transition of one second ease for 0 0.3 seconds so that we can get that smooth animation of the width increasing in the progress bar and lastly i'm also going to um actually add the css for the input container this will be pretty simple but nothing but display flex give it a width of somewhere around 50 percent and i'll select the justify content as space evenly all right so this is all for the css now let's go ahead to the script.js file and add the logic for the code so first of all all i'm going to do is i'm going to write the selectors i'm going to select all the classes i'm going to say document dot query selector and then i'm going to select the progress done after that i'm going to say select the input the input is document dot query selector and input after this i'm going to write max input this is for the other input which is which stores the max value query selector max input now after this i'm just going to declare two variables globally this is going to be nothing but the final value the value which we input in the first input and the max in the value that we enter in the max uh, input now we have to make the logic to make the width increase based on the value we add by calculating it with the max value and bringing bring out the percentage of it so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the event listeners so i'm going to say input dot add event listener and i'm going to check for the key up event and over here i'm going to write a function now over here i'm going to just write the final value and i'm going to set it to nothing but parse int and i'm going to select input dot value and i'm going to add the radix as 10. sorry this should be input dot value all right so basically we are selecting the input on top over here and every input in the html has a value property every input that you see over here has a value property so we are just selecting that value and we are adding it to the final value and since initially if we directly select input that value html gives us a string we want to convert it to an integer so that when we convert percentages uh, it will be easier for us because we need it in the number format in the integer format basically all right so now i have to do the same for this input as well for the max input as well and i'm going to add max input over here and over here as well and then i'm going to take the max set it over here now just to show you that we are getting the values which are being put on the uh, input uh, i'm going to console log both these values i'm going to show you in the browser final value I'm going to copy this paste this over here max so now let's go to the browser open the console and i'm going to type 100 in max value there you go you can see it's updating real time this is 100 and in value if i update 200 or something then you can see values also getting updated so they are happening real time so we are getting both the values that we type in the input so now we just need to do the logic part all we are going to do first of all is i'm going to create a function over here let's name that function change width all right so basically for the change width function all we have to do is i'm just going to go to our browser i'm going to explain you suppose if i add 30 here and i add the max value as 200 then we just need to find out that 30 is what percentage of 200 right if we are able to find that then we'll get the appropriate percentage and that is going to be uh, within 100 because we are going to find out 30 is what percentage of 200 and then we are going to multiply it by uh, 100 and then once we get that whatever value we get that's always going to be between 0 to 100 percent because finding out 30 is what percent of 200 is basic maths 
that will always give us the exact percentage between those two numbers so what i mean to say is i'm going to go right over here and i'm going to write i'm going to access the progress uh, selector that we had over here i'm going to write progress dot style dot width and i'm my bad progress dot style dot width and um, this width that we have over here initially as you can see over here i had set it to zero now we need to increase this width dynamically based on whatever uh, values we enter in the input so i'm going to add this string over here and then within this i'm going to add the variable and i'm going to say final value divided by nothing but the max and i'm going to multiply this entire part by 100 so what did i do over here this basically means what i just explained you if i have 30 over here and this is 200 then 30 is what percentage of 200 to figure that out all we have to do is we just have to divide both of these and multiply it by 100 and if we do that then we'll always get the percentage the appropriate percentage with between 100 which will tell us the value is what percentage of the max value so now i'm just going to go down here and then i'm also going to change the inner text so that i can show you it actually gives the proper value and over here i'm going to add the same thing but i'm just going to make it math dot yield because we don't want the decimals coming around sorry we should add it over here math dot c all right so um now there's actually one more thing we forgot to add we also have to add percentage over here because the width is initially zero right but after this calculation we'll get a proper percentage value after multiplying it with 100 which, which could be anything 30 40 50 percent so we need to also make sure that width goes from zero to that much percent so that's why we have to add this percent over here because we are adding a style so we want that width to increase by that much percent as well right in the ui now we also need to call this function that we have um so all i'm going to do is i'm going to remove these console logs for now and then over here i'm just going to call the change um, width function because every time we change the input we are continuously wanting to see whether the width is changing or not right as i showed in the demo so we are going to always call it in the in the events while they're being fired right i'm going to save this and now i'm going to go to my browser and i'm going to add any value over here in the max i'm going to say 100 over here let's just add 50 in that, that case obviously it should give us 50 percent there you go you can see it's giving us 50 percent and then now what if i change it to somewhere around 20 see 20 percent if i make it 90 90 percent and now what if i increase this what if i increase the value of the max value then the, all this will calculate itself and this will uh, calculate how much percent of the value is the max value and based on that it will also change the width accordingly but it will always keep it between 0 to 100 percent right that's basic maths basic aptitude so if i make this 200 then it won't take up this much this much width anymore because the max value will no more be 100 so if i make this 200 it's going to go to 45 so basically it means 90 is 45 percent of 200 right and if i make this say 180 then it's going to take almost 90 percent and if i make this 100 then it should take 50 percent there you go all right so and one more thing that we could do is this is this is the original build over here you can see this is a bit light in color we need to uh, but ours is a little bit dark gray so for that we can just change the style for this we can just change the background color all i'm going to do is i'm going to go here to my background color which is gray and i can just set it something as you can say light gray and i'll save it there you go this is a lighter gray color and now if i change this to anything around 20 it's going to work the same for the max value of 200 if i make it 200 then it's going to go up to 100 all right so this is all about the tutorial you got to understand how a proper progress bar works and how you can implement it properly and you also got to know how to calculate this value as a percentage of this max value so that the percent always stays within 100 and it gives you a proper description of how much of the progress bar has been loaded yet yeah this is all for the tutorial if you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more